My name is Helen Isibor Apega, otherwise known as the Venus Bushfires. I am a songwriter as well and a performance artist. The role of pigeon in my music has been integral to the pigeon opera, which is the world's first pigeon English opera. It's called Song Queen, a pigeon opera. And it's basically half pigeon and half classical music. And um, they both play a very integral part, and they both play 50-50 in the opera, so they basically balance each other out, and it's two worlds coming together. So without the pigeon, the opera probably doesn't exist. Mami Water inspires me because she's a tale about a, the goddess of the sea. And a lot of places, in, um, especially in Africa and South America, when you say Mami Water, people really are frightened. And it's this, you know, this mythical creature that everybody uh, is really, really afraid of. But for me, I think it's always something I've wanted to celebrate. It's um, the essence of femininity, I think, Mami Water is. So I love to sing it in songs. And also, like I, like I was saying a little while ago, that even Disney has um, talked about the Mami Water in, you know, Ariel. Little Mermaid, so it's something that's a really universal story that brings everybody together. The element of water I try to approach quite spiritually. For me, water again is the birth of possibilities, water is the cleanser, water is balance, water is neither sacred nor profane, I believe, and water is neither masculine or feminine. So for me, water is the clear ground that allows the possibilities of creativity to flourish and flow. The Venus bushfires actually means the birth of possibility, celebrating Mother Nature, celebrating what is natural, the essence of the ground, the essence of the earth, spirituality. As a multilingual person, I find that the vernacular is different in pidgin as opposed to English. With pidgin, it's very rhythmic and you're encouraged to speak in a certain way with a certain emotion to get it across. With English, English is my first language, I have to admit and um, it's just different in that um, it's a different emotion and it's a different rhythm, a different way of speaking. My song Last Winter Sparrow is a really personal one to me and I only realised how personal it was um, recently. It's about um, a sparrow that's coming towards the end of its life and it realises that it never got the opportunity to be an eagle and so it waits for the sun to go down and then it waits um, for the clouds to clear and then it soars across the horizon and it hopes that everyone underneath sees a shadow and thinks it's that of an eagle. So it's about the human desire to be greater in our legend, um, however we lived our lives, you know. And um, in honesty, I looked at myself and I thought, maybe I am a little bit of that sparrow too, you know, wanting to be an eagle, wanting to make the most out of life, wanting to seize every opportunity before it's too late. The critics and the audience have really received the Pigeon Opera in a fantastic way. I mean, growing up and creating music, there aren't many female, young, you know, but even African composers that are, that are in this world. So I really love being the spearhead for that. I really love being the, the yeah, the spearhead and for, at the forefront and celebrating this and inspiring other young women and saying, you can do this. You know, you can do it, it's possible. And um, the critics have been really positive. And the media um, outreach has been international, which has completely exceeded, you know, it, my, um, my um, expectations at the time. But now the world's the world. So I want the Pigeon Opera to be performed in every single city in the world in the next 10 years. I think being a diasporan African has really influenced the way that I work and the way that I create music in particular because I'm coming from many perspectives and I'm able to really speak on these perspectives personally because I've lived them. And um, the influence of language, style, culture, fashion, design, technology has um, really been paramount to, to my exploration as a musician because I like to always tick the other box. And um, I love that coming from two worlds enables me to tick the other box because I don't fit into a particular box. So um, it gives me a lot of freedom, I think. <laughs>